So I can respect people deciding to vote no on this bill for the reasons they've described, some of them. But I'm actually fairly appalled at the reasons that I just heard from many of my colleagues. It is absurd and it is insulting to imagine that people who look for a driver's license when they are undocumented are intending to commit some kind of fraud or harm on people in this country. As has already been pointed out, if you want to not be a citizen and figure out how to register to vote, it's not that hard. It's just that people don't do it because then you're opening yourself up to federal penalties. And when you're undocumented, you're mostly trying to hide as much as possible. And the concept that you want to do harm to us here, and so you'll go and give all your information about who you are and where you live to a government agency in order to get a driver's license is also absurd factually and on the face. And if you look at who, in fact, are the terrorists that have attempted to attack and attacked our country, that has nothing to do with the story we're talking about today. And the argument that people who do it the right way, they get into America the right way, they are standing there taking their oath of office at a citizenship event in somebody's district or doing it in the right way, I dare you to find too many people undocumented in this country who wouldn't love to have the ability to legalize, who wouldn't love to stand there proudly with their families and take their oath of citizenship. <coughs> but they're not allowed to. They're not allowed to because of the variations in our immigration policy that go back and forth and back and forth over our history. We're a country of immigrants and we consistently forget the lessons of history about our own lives and our own families' lives. My family are Eastern European Jews. We weren't welcome here. Sometimes we were sent back on boats. I don't think anyone who got here in my family came here with paperwork. And they were at risk and they were worried, but the immigration laws somehow allowed them to get their legal status. And some of the people who are listening tonight who are undocumented may very well be on their path to a legal status, except because of this federal administration, we have backlogged everything so far and refused anyone the arguments that should be made about their right to claim refugee status, that they're here because they couldn't survive where they came from. That is many of our family's stories from generation to generation. My family fled to the US because they were going to die if they stayed in Europe. That's the story we're listening to tonight. And with all due respect, we are not in any way, shape, and form at risk. If people get a driver's license, it doesn't make them a citizen. It doesn't give them the right to vote. It doesn't put us a, a threat. It actually just gets them a driver's license because they're here and they're driving. And this is so obvious, and with all due respect, it is so disturbing what we are hearing from some on this floor tonight. I proudly vote yes. Thank you, Mr. President.